today we're running at the rail trail and it's got a trail used by runners and riders. Really cool. Down in South End. Well, it's been a minute since I've posted a video and there's a good reason for that. Like two days? No, uh -huh. Oh, a running video. Yeah, a running oh. video. I told you in a previous video about my uh, leg injury. Well, I am a terrible patient, which is a pretty known fact. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is Chad. Huh. I've been wearing a boot occasionally. Can we call it occasionally? <laughs> Infrequently. Infrequently. I'm at 14 weeks from when I was injured and I'm feeling good but my leg is not 100% and so I haven't been running but Chad and I have been trying to get out on Tuesdays after work and put in some miles and continue on. I'm really trying to be smart because I really don't want to hurt myself like long term. I'm trying to just uh, be smart and enjoy it. I mean, still have some crazy goals, but just trying to enjoy life and run when I feel like I can and rest when I can't run. And I think it's like two and a half years ago now, I got a text from someone asking me if I wanted to run the Charlotte Half Marathon. I hadn't been running very long, uh, full 13 timed. They said, hey, the Entry fee's already paid, just show up and grab the bib and go. And I did. Here's the video. So we'll see how today goes. I'd like to do like a sub two hour, but it should be fun. It should be a lot of fun. So I says I'm five miles in. Pretty excited about that. So this is why you come out and run. You meet great people like Jess right here. Jess Powell, he's doing the 50, North Face 50. Two weeks. In two weeks. And he's out here running the full marathon as a little uh, trainer, a little warm up. There you go. There you go. Charlotte half marathon. It was a blast. Loved it. Energy was great. Great event put on, supported super well. And so a few months ago, I got asked to be on the Charlotte Marathon podcast. Super cool. Got to talk a little bit about the Suffer Club and really just why I do what I do. Here's a snippet of the podcast. We can all use a little encouragement in our running lives, and our next guest on Running Around Charlotte has some for you. Aaron Beaver is an ultra runner who created the Suffer Club. The Suffer Club on three points, encouragement, accountability, and consistency. He's here to encourage us now with his story. Aaron, welcome. Oh, man, thank you so much. I'm very, very excited to uh, have this conversation today for sure. Uh, the Suffer Club came from a bike ride where you ride from uh, you ride up Mount Mitchell. And if you know anything about it, it's about 5,000 feet of elevation and roughly 20 miles. So it's a pretty intense ride. And about halfway up, uh, I'm miserable. I'm complaining. Everything in my body is hurting. I probably have only been riding six months. So it's a very strenuous ride for a, a newbie. And my friend just looks over and he's like, dude, you're just going to have to suffer on. And it was where it kind of birthed uh, this idea of uh, a community. It's, it's really about encouraging. It's really figuring out, hey, I can push farther. I can go farther. I can climb up Mount Mitchell uh, with somebody beside me. 
Um, I'm probably going to give up on myself, but I'm definitely not going to give up if the person beside me is not giving up. It's, it's just something that happens. So for me, uh, that's where it started, but I was not a runner. Um, I was not a runner until, uh, July, August of 2016. I had a very bad bike wreck and, um, it was, I was riding to a, a ride on Saturday morning and the front fork that holds your front tire on your bike, uh, shattered. And I had a, uh, a collision that ended me up in the hospital. I broke uh, um, most of the bones on the right side of my face, fractured my T6 and T7 vertebrae. I'm three quarters of an inch shorter than I was. And uh, that's when I started running. Um, I had just rode from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina to the Florida, Georgia line on my bicycle. It's 410 miles. And the guys that I did it with, they were ultra runners. After that, uh, when I had my injury, those were the guys that just encouraged me. Those were the guys that came to my house and I was wearing this turtle shell like vest because I, you know, uh, I was going to have to have surgery and they would just walk with me around the neighborhood at week three, week four, at week five, they got me to walk three miles at week six. They got me to run three miles. So there's a link in the description where you can uh, subscribe to the podcast and go listen to it. I would love for you to to listen to it and come back to the video and tell me what you think about it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, now we're heading back. And this will be your longest run to date, right? In a long, long time. In a, in a long, long time. And it's, it, it is a quite steamy day. So yeah, it's a good one. Making him work for it for sure. spot back there they had to put up a sign for me it said no streaking and you yell it's a one inch inseam it's a one inch inseam Like that, we are done. Man, that was uh, good. It was like 6.2 and um, good time, good chatting pace. Average 6.30 a mile, right? Uh, yeah, just, just, just a quick 6.30, it was no big deal. Oh, uh, definitely was a lot of fun. My <clears> phone. <throat> Super grateful for the opportunity to talk and share about the Suffer Club on the podcast. Uh, look, if you get a chance, go uh, subscribe. And um, they've always got good content coming out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Come with another video here soon. Got some cool things to look forward to. Adios.